Good morning, everybody. It's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. Welcome to day number six of our Fun in the Sun doll crochet along. And today we are going to do the arms. So you will need your crochet hook, whichever one you're using. And you will need your flesh tone, whichever flesh tone you're using. And you will need a little bit of fiber fill. Probably not this much, <laughs> just a little bit. And you'll probably also want your stuffing tool. All right, so let's go ahead and get going on this. So you are, um, the pattern has you starting with two chains and you work into that second chain. I'm gonna do a magic circle because that's how I do my amigurumi, but you do it however you'd like to do it. Um, so let me make my magic circle and we need to do five single crochets into that magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, pull my circle tight. I like to bring my tail to the outside of the work. And then we're going to do an increase. We're going to do two single crochets into each single crochet. So that's going to give us 10 single crochets. I am sorry I'm a little bit late today. I'm assuming this will be late because it takes hours and hours for it to upload. I don't know why. But I usually try to get these out like it. I usually try to do them right when I get home from swim but today I got home and I was fortunate enough to be able to give a sewing lesson to a young lady I think she's I don't know how old she is um, between 10 and 13 somewhere around there I'm just, I'm, I'm sure I should know how old she is but I don't she's a friend uh, she's the daughter of a friend of mine and we sewed some um, dog bandanas and we sewed we started to sew a face mask but I made a big mistake <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I, I've sewed how many face masks but she had a different pattern we were using and I forgot it was like you put the right sides together and you sew I had the elastic on the inside of the mask <laughs> it's like what <laughs> oh my gosh so but she's going to use it for a pillow so she's fine but um She's going to uh, make some more masks at home. Okay, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, why does it look like I have 11? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have 10. Okay, so there's my circle with 10. And then the third round, and again, we are, not again, but we're on the top of the third column of the pattern. Round three, we're going to just do single crochet around. So we're going to do 10. So yeah, that was fun to get to um, help her. She's done a little bit of sewing before, but I was able to teach her how to backstitch at the beginning of a, of a seam. And yeah, she, she did really good. And I gave her the machine because it was an old machine that I had, um, but it still had some life in it. So gave her that six seven eight nine nine does not want to go in there I'm crocheting too tight <laughs> and ten all right and so we're going to start on round four and we're making the thumb. Is that the thumb? Yes, we're making the thumb. So we're going to single crochet in the next four. One. I don't know why I'm singing. Two. Three. And 
four. And then to make the thumb, it's a triple crochet, triple crochet, triple crochet, I don't know, um, in the next single crochet. So you're going to go around twice. Yes. And you're going to insert, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is a triple crochet. And then you're going to continue on making one single crochet in the next five. Now, whenever I do this, my my things always poke to the inside, and I always have to go back and poke them out to the outside. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Four, five. Okay, so you can't really see that I've made a treble crochet there because it kind of got poked onto the inside. So I just like to take something and it's not going to be extremely visible it's just going to be visible enough so you can kind of see a little bit of a poke out there um <laughs> my fingers so a little bit of a poke out there just a little bit and it'll be more noticeable as we go and do the next round so don't worry too much about that now round five you're going to do single crochets all the way around so that's ten And that will help the thumb poke out even more because we're kind of tightening things back up again from that triple crochet. Four, five, six, seven. Are you noticing that something today? I'm alone. Nine and ten. Yeah, Miss Molly um, is behind the stove, which is her safe place that she goes to. Um, she None of my cats like company, and I don't usually have company, really, and that's kind of sad. But um, So here is the little hand. You can just barely see a little outcropping for the thumb. It's, it's very subtle. So Maggie was hiding in the back room, uh, the storage room. They have a cat tree in there. I have cat trees all over the house. <laughs> so she was she was perfectly fine sleeping in her little corner on the cat tree. And then Molly was behind the stove. So she'll be out in a little while. She looked like she was taking a nap back there. Um, all right. So now round six. We're going to single crochet two together, which basically means we're going to decrease, and then one single crochet in the next three, and we're going to do that twice. So we're going to do decrease, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. And that's basically going to take our 10 that we were working with down to an 8. And that's going to make the thumb pop out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, um, I wish I had cats that liked people, but my cats don't. They like me. <laughs> Two, three, four, and another decrease. Three single crochets in the next three stitches. That sounded weird. Or one single crochet in the next three stitches. How about that? <laughs> okay, so now you've made the hand. And again, the thumb is really subtle. It's just a little, a little tiny outcropping there. And what you're going to do now is on the seventh round, we're going to do the eight stitches around and then you're just going to continue until your arm is four inches long. So I'm going to do a little bit here while I just chit chat. So I think it'll be good if I keep this video short because it won't take quite as long to upload. I don't want you to get it too late in the day. Um, but yeah, so it was fun getting to teach her 
just some more skills of sewing. She learned how to um, turn something inside out and to leave a little hole to do that with. She learned how to um, clip a corner and use a, a point turning tool to poke the fabric out into the corner. So yeah, I think she's gonna go home and make some more masks. And um, she wanted to make some little blankets for her toy ponies. So I'm excited to see what she comes up with. She's a very creative girl. All right. As for me, the rest of today, I'm hoping to finish up some crochet projects around here and get some more reading in, take a long nap. I'm going to miss my naps when school starts. <laughs> oh, I also have to go down to the post office and mail off my stress balls to Rose at Rose Likes Crochet for wings. Got to go to the grocery store and I might get myself something for lunch today. Maybe McDonald's. I don't know. And maybe watch Little House on the Prairie. Kind of an easy rest of the day today. All right. So I'm going to just show you where I'm at right now. I'm working on the the going around eight time or eight no single eight single crochets in the round and so there's my hand you can kind of see I think the thumb looks better now that I've got some of the arm going and I'm just gonna keep going until this whole thing measures four inches so that's your homework plus you have double homework tonight you're gonna make the other arm same way so when you come back tomorrow you should have two arms completely done so that's also something I'm going to do today is do, do my homework. <laughs> All right. So I think that's a pretty, pretty easy thing to do. Um, don't forget when you're done. Oh, I guess I should say that part too. Huh? That's kind of important. <laughs> Let me see what it says here. Um, dun, 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 stuff arms lightly. Okay. So when you're done with the first arm, you're going to, if you've done the magic ring, you're going to pull it tight and you're going to tie it off and then um, put the, weave the yarn in into the arm and then cut off any extra. And then when you get done to the four inches, you can do it now. You can start doing it now if you want. I just always like to wait till I'm done before I stuff, but I know some people like to stuff as they go. Um, so for me, what I'm going to do is when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and stuff my arm. And that's why I'm going to use my little stuffing tool and just kind of pack it in there. Um, it says to do it lightly. And I am, I think the arms would be fine if you want to add them, uh, put a little more in there. Just you don't want to make them too stiff. All right. So, so by this time tomorrow, you will have two completed arms done. That's a lot of work for today, but I know you can do it. I know you can. I have faith in you. You've done great so far. And you could do it. And then tomorrow we're going to start with, uh, let's see. Tomorrow we are going to start the legs. And actually, I think we're starting with the shoe part of the leg. And we're going to take two days on the legs because it's got the shoe part and it's a little trickier. Uh, not trickier, but it's just, it's a little bit. A little bit more intense than the arms so we're, instead of just doing one day for the like we did for the arms we're gonna do two days for the legs the shoes and the legs um, all right wow this is exciting oh my gosh we have just we're, we're almost halfway there so yay <laughs> all right everybody see you tomorrow with your two arms done have a great day